Hey viewers, Chris from Chris Tantra with you. How the heck are you today? About a month ago now, uh, I acquired a 2001 Dodge Ram pickup truck. And about a week or so after I acquired it, probably about a week and a half, I uh, shot and posted the uh, tour video. Well, actually, that process took a little bit because of video editing issues, but I digress. Uh, anyway, I've been doing some work on it. Uh, a couple of videos you guys might have seen. I think at least the oil change video you've seen. But I'm just going to give you all a quick uh, run around of the truck, what I've been doing with it lately, and things of that nature. So here we go. Well, I will be the first to warn you guys, I am not a body man. Or not that great at body repair. But uh, in the tour video, I really didn't show you too well the exterior but uh like over here on the finger and stuff there was just epic epic rust um down on the doors was rotting out uh the back doors surprisingly was fine and of course back over the wheel wells i mean this is typical for pretty much any dodge of this generation for it to get this rust um pretty much what i decided to do was though it was the the finger especially was just too far gone for a typical bog repair and I really don't have the equipment to weld metal on so I just basically decided to take sandpaper spray spray paint it black and basically glue it onto the body and then spray over the top of it with uh, basically bed liner and the can I mean, it looks alright, it's just, I mostly did it just to kind of prevent the rust from getting any worse. I uh, cut out the used up metal, or did the best I could to cut it out before I uh, applied the sandpaper and the bed liner paint. Hey, check out my new bumper sticker. But, uh, things like that. Did a, did a little bit of a strip right here at the bottom of my tailgate. And I just kind of repeated the process over here. The driver's side, oddly enough, really wasn't that bad when it came to the rust issues. But just to have it matching, I decided to repeat the process. Uh, I also cleaned my headlights. Couldn't really do a video of me cleaning it. I Just because it was dark when I did the final cleaning. What I did was, early on I did like a toothpaste treatment, just put some toothpaste on it, rubbed it in, wiped it clean. Uh, then I did wet sanding. Uh, I basically took, I think it was like 2,000 grit, or yeah, 2,000 grit wet dry sandpaper worked down to 1,000 grit. And then I took a headline, headline restorer in a bottle, it was about 10 bucks at AutoZone and just did kind of like the final treatment to these headlights. And it's looking a little better now. Uh, other repairs I have done, one time I went and played in the mud and I think I worked a little bit of mud up into the, uh, let's see if I can show you here. I worked a little bit of mud up into the U-joint for the four wheel drive. And uh, I got some mud got up in the, in the U-joint and caused it to dry up and stuff like that so it was clacking and clanging uh i thought we was gonna have to replace the u-joint but what happened was popped the tire off took the caliper off took the rotor off pulled out the axle and i was trying to hammer the u-joint out of the axle joint and i gave up on it after about 30 minutes because it just wasn't budging worth the damn and I guess in the process of beating on it with a hammer, it must have knocked all the mud out because there was uh, no more noise and no more playing the U-joint. So the one time I've seen beating on something with a hammer actually fix a problem. Uh, what else have I got to get this thing in the month that I've owned it? Get an oil change to it. Not much else. Obviously the brakes put on new... Uh, See, I had a brake line blow about a week after I got the thing, so I had to have the brake line replaced, caliber on this side replaced, uh, dig the brakes, the pads and the rotors on the front, 
really haven't done anything to the back. I've been told I don't need to do it. Uh, excuse me. I haven't told I don't need to do anything to the back. So it's good. Uh, really no major changes to the interior except for I put a carpet of that, or I basically took some replacement carpet from Walmart, just kind of worked it to cover up this gas, because I just got tired of looking at the cracks over there on that side. So I just decided to do that, make it look a little better. I mean, this by no means is a show truck, folks. It's just my work truck. It's a commuter, but you know what? It's a dang good work truck. I'll give it that much. Sorry, gang, I had to go and find my keys. I thought I had them with me when I was shooting, but I guess I didn't. Um, but like I was saying, I mean, this truck, we call her Casper. Uh, the thing about, well, the reason why we call her Casper, I mean, she's a red truck, obviously, but the reason I call her Casper is because the, we had a 97 Dodge uh, right before this one, and it was white, and Steph named it Casper, and we both got attached to the truck. But unfortunately, one of our friends borrowed it one day and don't know what the heck he was doing with it because he wasn't quite upfront about what he was doing. So, but ultimately, I'm pretty sure the transfer case came out while he had it. So yeah, we had to sell it and I wound up picking up this thing and just, I, I just, to me, call me word, but it seems to have adopted Casper's ghost. But I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I really like this truck. I mean, to me, it's kind of like a sleeper. I mean, the body's not the best, but I mean, this drivetrain is something else. It's it's a strong drivetrain. Uh, for those of you that can't remember, it's the uh, five nine liter V eight engine, three sixty cubic inches, uh, with the automatic transmission, and of course the four by four. You know. Gas hard for sure, to say the least, but, you know, it works out. It's a good running truck. I mean, I've hauled stuff in this truck. I mean, I haven't been too crazy about hauling stuff with it, but I do haul stuff once in a while, and it gets me where I need to go. It's never, it hasn't let me down yet. It's just been a good truck. About the only way, the only other thing I wish it had was, of course, the Cummings up front and the five-speed manual down here versus the automatic. I kind of like driving stick shit, but you know. It's a it's a good truck though, nonetheless. it's I kind of like it, it's a sleeper. I don't worry about it when it's parked in the parking lot or anything like that. I'm not worried about shopping carts or nothing, but it's, you know, it's just, it is a great truck. Uh, I don't think you guys have heard the radio on it yet. Is looking for experienced flatbed. But, uh, the back speakers work, front ones are out. I've been told it's either an issue with the uh, head, uh, basically the radio deck, or just the speakers are blown. Um, of course, the OEM deck, I don't think the, the interior of this truck has been messed with at all, to tell you the truth. Uh, and there's really not a whole lot for me left to do on it, besides all the work I've put into it already. Uh, Seriously considering putting in HID headlights up front. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the 8000K blue bulbs though, from what I've heard, and you know, the weather out here in Ohio especially, I'd probably be better off with like probably 6000K, something a little closer to the white light spectrum. But I'm thinking about OEM headlights, I need to do a transfer, a transmission and transfer case fluid exchange on it yet and really I think that's about it oh and possibly an ignition switch every so often I'll go to start this thing and it sounds like it's not a dead battery but it's like if I if I pull the wheel one way or the other usually it starts just fine which tells me that I'm pretty sure the the wires running from the ignition switch are probably getting stretched and there might be a bad connection or the, the switch itself is just getting worn out which from what I've read happens in these trucks, but that's about it. It's my honey-do list with this thing is steadily shrinking. So 
It's a good I'll probably go ahead and wrap it up uh, for you guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little update video. I am Chris for Chris Country. You can always visit me at my Facebook page, Chris Country. Or of course, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, night, week, weekend, whatever time it happens to be, wherever you may be at. And we will see you on the next video. See you later.